Hello everybody, my name is Bob and Fickle, and today we're going to be playing Subterrane Mines of Titan. Um, I know almost nothing about this game besides that it is a uh, turn-based tactics game, and it takes place on uh, the, or in the Mines of Titan. Um, and they're aliens, and um, you shoot stuff, and craft stuff, and explore stuff, and so that sounds pretty interesting, so we're going to give it a try. Okay, uh, character type. So, there are a few different character types we can be. I'm not sure what this 0% means. Does that maybe mean the percentage that you completed the game as that character, if I had to guess? Something like that. Um, maybe a randomizer button? Nope, that's select portrait. Uh, well... Personal storage... Elec election? Machinery... Uh, can change the name... So we've only got one portrait, it looks like, period, no matter what, which, okay, so that's us, that's good to know, um, hmm, that's a little strange, I would expect that you would have, like, more portraits that you could select, uh, so, it can be a doctor, scientist, I think, in this star item, does that mean start item? I'm not sure what that means. Okay, well, I generally, if I were going to be doing something like this, I would be an engineer. So, I think I'm going to give engineer a try, and we'll see what happens. The infection spreads more rapidly as it increases in quantity and affects other neighboring areas. All right, well, we'll have to deal with that. The Titan Excavation and Colonization Company also known as TECC, was born of human ingenuity and a compulsion to capture Saturn's largest moon for its precious resources. This plan was in the making longer before such a mission was even possible. I guess long before such a mission was even possible? It was a top priority under the leadership of CEO Atticus Proangelos. After a twist of fate known only to corporate insiders, TECC successfully populated several mining camps on Titan's surface. The company invested heavily in terraforming technology capable of transforming the atmosphere for human habitation. Titan's first pioneers oversaw this process and created a new life for themselves until one day they were all gone. In conjunction with research and mercenary groups, TECC launched additional teams to Titan to investigate the cause of the first settlement's loss. One such team was sent to a remote location called Hamp Hewn, where the new exploratory team was tasked with recovering assets from the deep mines. Unfortunately, their numbers were decimated under mysterious circumstances, and contact with the TECC HQ was severed. The remaining re residents of Camp Hewen? Hugen? Hugen? <laughs> were stuck in survival mode, scraping together materials to make it another day. And then they uncovered a stasis pod buried in the ruins. Could the person inside really be alive? I bet this guy is a zombie. Something stirs in the black void of existence as your consciousness begins to awaken once more. An explosion in your spirit brings the world back into view, though your senses are stifled. Thinking is complicated, as is the idea of speech. Too many images flash through your mind, but dreams and reality are intertwined. Just how long have you been sleeping? Okay, maybe that guy is us. The liquid surrounding you drains, and the world comes crashing in. Loud machine gears and computerized beeps attack your senses. A sudden shock to the system from your mental restraints 
forces your first breath. Okay, fresh air fills your lungs as if for the first time, sending your heart racing. That's me with my pensive, contemplative stare looking off into the distance. All right, here I am. Addison Thorpe. Very, uh, very nice lab coat I've got on there. Oh no, Addison Thorpe is screaming. Okay, that's not me. Um, the sound of your own scream- oh no, it is me. The sound of your own scream makes your hair stand on end. And your olfactories catch the scent of chemicals and blood. Shadows on the other side of your glass enclosure move swiftly. Your eyes dart from side to side as you try to figure out what is happening and push yourself to speak. Okay, so I am, yeah, I'm in the little pod there, it looks like. Let me out! I'm pretty ripped, that's nice. The cocoon of metal and glass you've come to know shakes and retracts, replacing the cold vapor with a warm light. The first person you see is a woman. Is that concern on her face or excitement? Ida Shahane. Ida. Hello. I hope you'd be alive in there. This cryotube is old tech. Where? Stay calm. You are safe. This is Camp Hewn on Titan. I am Dr. Sahane, Shahane, head of our clinic. We've just taken you out of stasis. I'm just going to call her Ida. First things first, your, body mor your body's mortar functions should have returned after the electrical cardioversion. Please try to move for me. We need to gather initial biometric readings to proceed. You wiggle your big toe on your right foot ever so slightly, bringing a smile to your face and the doctor's. However, when you push beyond that, your body is racked with pain. It hurts too much. The pain intensifies as sheer agony suddenly overtakes your body. Your newly found vision blurs and reality gets hazier by the minute. Doctor's freaking out. Ida's expression grows fearful, though she remains calm under pressure. As she backs away, the sound of her steps fade away as your senses are overwhelmed by your ever-increasing heartbeat. Isco! Isco! Get over here! Get over here! Another figure rushes into the clinic, but your crawling skin and writhing with uh, but your crawling skin and rising adrenaline levels make it difficult to focus on them. They seem just as freaked out as the doctor. Your vision goes red just before everything turns black. Suddenly, you return to your familiar black void. Get me diazepam, stat, says Ida. We need to stop these convulsions. Isco, these vitals are beyond critical. Do we want to waste most of our supply to save one patient? He looks almost as skeptical as, as my character does <laughs> about the whole situation. <laughs> Ida, I'm not losing this one. This might be the key to everything. Yeah, man, I look really unsure. Slowly opening your eyes, you see Ida watching you. Your heartbeat has slowed, but your blood feels energized, almost refreshed. Welcome back. I thought we'd lost you, but you spontaneously recovered from whatever was affecting you. That was too close. Isco? Conditions are stable, Ida. Good. Now, can you try to move for me again? No time for pleasantries. You move two toes this time, and the notable lack of pain is a relief. Not really. I'm too weak, but it, at least it doesn't hurt anymore. Good. Progress is progress, and the absence of pain is a positive indicator. Now then, do you remember why you were in stasis? Any info you have will help us understand your situation. I don't remember. I know my name is Addison Thorpe, but beyond that, it's a little fuzzy. Well, Addison Thorpe, you were placed in cryostasis, outside of usual protocols. Your body wasn't appropriately cooled beforehand, and that's just one example. My guess is that there was some sort of emergency that necessitated your stasis. Am I correct? You shrug your shoulders as a reflex. Another milestone. Your pod was marked as belonging to the first Camp Hewan settlement, but the logs and metadata were too corrupted to recover. Thanks to ISCO, we successfully connected it to our systems despite its outdated tech. 
That might have contributed to your rocky awakening, but your stasis duration, your TECC clearance level, all of it remains a mystery. Put plainly, everyone here is part of TECC's secondary mining operation. Everyone from the first settlement was reported missing about seven years ago, including you. And in terms of... Panic fills your mind as Ida's voice fades into the ether. The names, faces, and everything about your past escapes you. Amnesia. You have faint memories of joining TECC and arriving on Titan, but nothing is entirely clear. You quickly come back to your senses. And in any case, your mind is a puzzle we hope to piece together. Only then can we know exactly what to do with you. And as the mind heals, your body will follow. So... I guess I'm kind of curious if I'm going to get, like, a flashback, and then me playing the game is going to be, like, a flashback of, like, all the stuff that happened before this that caused me to be in, in stasis, or if there's going to be, like, a new alien outbreak or something like that with this this mining colony, the second uh, mining colony. For now, we focus on solvable problems. Everyone pulls their weight around here, so adding one more set of hands will be a godsend. Let's get you up and moving. Really? I can move my toes and shrug my shoulders and you want me to labor? Time, uh, time and cryostasis, this is Iceco. Time and cryostasis left your omniscope damaged, and without that, you'll be flying blind around here. We need to get it back online for you, my omniscope. During your initial examination, we attempted to reactivate it, but the damage made it combust. Luckily, Iceco and I were able to remove it before it left any lasting, lasting scars. Wow, thank you says I. No need to thank us. Saving you isn't entirely unselfish. Your survival is crucial, crucial to our own, after all. Exactly, says Isco. Okay, so we've already replaced most of your Omniscope's controller internals to make it compatible with our system. We may even be able to upgrade it later, but we're limited in how much we have in the clinic. Do you remember how to use it? The basics, yeah. Your Omniscope is a multifunctional embedded information device composed of wireless lenses inserted into the eyes via surgery and remotely linked AI unit and a remotely linked AI unit. It can be used to communicate, display maps, or analyze objects. Another positive sign of your memory returning, Isco. Hand me the controller. Sure thing, Ida. Despite her unorthodox bedside manner, you feel safe in Ida's care and uh, await the anesthetics for Omniscope implantation. She keeps her attention on you while simultaneously configuring the controller like the expert she is. Ida, I know you can't move right now, but just as a precaution, hold still. Surprisingly, you feel a hand under your head as Ida starts the implantation procedure without painkillers. You shudder as a thin object- I didn't consent to this- you shudder as a thin object slithers from your eye sockets. Hmm. Ida <laughs> injects another quickly after. And it quickly, that's redundant, burrows into your skull. You hold in your screams, since this pain is preferable to what you experienced earlier. Hmm. Okay. It doesn't take long before your vision is augmented by your new Omniscope, overlaying vital data over everything you see. The displayed text takes time to normalize as your brain translates complex data streams into a language you can interpret. Isco, I know it's uncomfortable, but system updates are almost complete. Oh. I've lost three hit points. All right, I've got an AI. Uh, ca Cassini. Cassini. Cass Cassini. Hmm. Omniscope ID 24601, starting boot sequence. Hello, I am Cass Cassini. Cassini? AI assistant, connected to Omniscope ID 24601. I'm going to go Cassini. Yeah, let's go Cassini. Memory error detected. Attempting recovery. Okay, now I play the game. Omniscope memory recovered. Please check Omniscope functionality through the tab key. Isco? Omniscope is operational at 89% synchronization. Good, good. I'll have Isco monitor that during your next checkup. I can't press tab right now, by the way. I just tried. I'll make a note. We'll have you in tip-top shape soon. I look skeptical about that. But you are at least feeling a little better, yes? Your Omniscope is also connected to your bioelectrical system, so moving your body should be easier now. So come on, please do get up. Time to get out of bed. I'm in my skivvies. All right, we've got a guide about movement. WASD, Q, 
E, Z, C for diagonal movement, and I can just click to move as well. So cool. So we can move around a little bit. Tab is a is a thing. Um, so if I hold, if I press Tab, it shows me my interactables. Um, so it looks like I can go there to sleep. I can go the various. It tells me the various different directions I can go. That's pretty interesting. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so that's the exit, but I feel like, man, it'd be nice to get some clothes. This is nice. I like this, um, this art. This is cool pixel art. I like it. Okay, we're just going out in our skivvies. Oh, now I am just walking automatically. You caught Ida in the middle of going through a long t list of to-dos with Iceco. They both notice you. They didn't, like, check to make sure I didn't fall unconscious upon standing. Your arms and legs work, and you don't seem to be in pain. Great. I look skeptical about that. You'll find a change of clothes in the box behind the monitors. When you're done, I have more to share with you. Hmm. <laughs> That's all I can think every time I see that. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, okay. Box of clothes. How to equip items. Let's check the guide. Let's look at the guide. Yep, it's just like every other game. Open your inventory, then left-click on the gear to pick it up. Move it to the appropriate equipment slot. Left-click again to equip the item. Inventory shortcut, shortcut is I. Uh, you can swap items out. Um, and sometimes you have to unequip stuff to equip new stuff. So we got nothing equipped right now. That's to be expected. Showing off our abs. What if I don't want to wear clothes? I mean, you, you, you brought me out like this. What if I just want to go naturally. Well, I think we should wear some clothes. Um, we got camp sportswear. Nice. I like games where the stuff that you're wearing shows up on your character. That's like a really important thing for me. Um, I don't know why, but it is. All right. Bit of a tight fit, but it will do for now. She was right. You make a mental note to find new clothes later, but then you hear the growl of your empty stomach. I hear it too, says Ida. Um, hmm. Use your Omniscope to find the pub, and you get something to ease your polyphagia. I already let them know you're coming, and they have food. Polyphagia? I don't, I don't know what that means. Does that just mean hungry? I don't know what that means. Polyphagia. Okay. Oh, their soup is to die for. Ask for Alp. He, Alp? He's a large man with a somehow perfect mustache, and lucky for you, he loves meeting new people. Keep in mind that it is common to feel the need to binge eat after leaving cryostasis, but let's take it one bite at a time and listen to your body. Now go, but don't miss your next checkup. From the past, after a lengthy slumber, my hibernation device was found by Dr. Shahane, or Ida. She cracked it open to bring me back into the world. This place is called Camp Hewen, uh, apparently home to several TECC employees, probably one of the many camps built on Titan, the largest of Saturn's uh, 83 moons. My first goal is to understand the situation at Camp Hewen, like available facilities in each employee's role, maybe find a reason why they've lost communication with TECCHQ. Following that, I need to locate more info on the missing explorers who came to Titan with me during the first TECC mission. What the hell happened? I've been told to visit Alp for some food. Let's start there. Alp. Okay, I've got a journal. I've got tasks. Let's start with, let's look at the guide for, okay, oh god. I'm trying to open these guides and it's not letting me. Okay, close, test tracking. Okay, so guide, task, log, that's all in my journal, okay. Movement equipment, tasks. Open journal, select task to show you cur current tasks and completed tasks. Um, so if I go tasks, Alps Pub, it's for Alp here with the mustache. Visit him, get some food. Uh, okay, yep, I've got these different contacts. Track path, I guess, will take me here. I can do that, and it'll take me there. Oh, that's very nice. Um, what else we got? Log. Okay. I mean, I just want to click through all of this. Oh, two pages. I see. Okay, yeah, it tells you about the... Haha, I figured it out without you even telling me. Um, okay. So, paths. Uh, what? Why? I just have to click on these guys to make that go away? Okay, nice. All right, let's find... Alp. Just gonna see if there's anything clickable in here. Anything I can interact with, anything I can take. 
Yes, haha. -ha. Yes, I will take all of those things. See, this is how you get ahead in games like these, you know? You gotta know what to look for. Alright, what did I get actually, though? Junk. <laughs> nice. Crushed water bottle, a comb, and a recorder. Uh, well, I can recycle those. Okay, there's some stuff over here. Any loot? Yes. I will take all of that junk. No reason not to. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, no. Yes. Oh, here we go. This is actually stuff. Yes, give me all the stuff. Give me all the stuff. Okay, I already took all that stuff. Ooh. A worse jacket, but it might be worth something. Okay, I hope that nobody gets mad at me for taking all this stuff, but I am just going to take all this stuff. Yes, all the things. I mean, I assume that I'm going to be, like, venturing into the dungeons of of uh, Titan and needing to, like, fight stuff, so I, I just assume that it's fine for me to take all of these things because I'm, you know, saving these people from themselves. Uh, okay. Alright, I actually don't think I need more first aid kits right now. I might leave some of them here just for, like, so that they're here for later. Don't want to clutter up the inventory too much just yet. Until I know how to recycle stuff. Okay, cryopod looking things. This is... Oh, this is Iceco, okay. Do I need something? Just learning my way around. Can you tell me more about Camp Hewan? Well, you already know I take care of the camp's medical needs. We're on Titan. The largest of Saturn's moons were also pretty far from the TECC headquarters. Wait, isn't Dr. Sahane the head of medical? Shahain. Okay, let's try to pronounce things a little more correctly. Shahain. Officially, yes, but I took over most of Ida's responsibilities when she changed focus to her current research project. What's she studying? She's been looking into the circumstances surrounding the previous settlers here, which eventually led her to you. You should have seen her face when she found you. He he. I mainly tend to injuries and treat anyone showing symptoms from exposure to the mind, but I'm also an expert in medical tech. All the while, Ida is giving her all to something even bigger. She's constantly pushing herself, which is one of the reasons I admire her so much. You mentioned mine exposure. Can you elaborate? We don't yet know why, but some miners who went underground came back ill. Okay, so we're at the beginning of the zombie outbreak. Some were beyond medical intervention, and the remaining survivors are quarantined in a medically induced in medically induced comas to, decor, uh, to decelerate their sickness. The mine was closed, but we're still researching a cure. Again, something I will crack one day. Without the mine, though, our supplies are limited. That's part of why your Omniscope was built from used parts instead of brand new ones. Something doesn't change soon, you won't last long here. And TECCHQ has cut off support? How can they do that? I wish I could tell you more. Not really my department. Thanks for the talk. Okay, I could look at that guy to see what he has in stock, but honestly, we've been doing a lot of um, talking, and I kind of want to... Although maybe I can sell him... I, I am just curious if I can sell him that, uh, that lab coat, actually. Hello. No, I can't wait. Show me what you have. Okay. Energy drinks, bandages. All right, here, I want to sell you this. Oh my god, I'm rich. I'm rich. What can I buy? Splints, antitoxin stimulants. Uh, okay, I don't really want any of that stuff. But haha, -ha, I probably just sold that guy's lab coat back to him. Oh, I can probably sell this one too. Okay, we're not going to do that right now. Maybe later. If we need money. Physical needs, check guide. Uh, hunger, thirst, and sleep. Okay, great. And I am some of those things. That's Ida, I believe. I think just leaving this tab thing on is good for the most part because it tells me when there's loot. Although I, can, I guess I can hover over stuff and it tells me too, but it, I'm gonna leave it on for now. If it bothers you guys, just let me know um, and I'll turn it off, but I think I'm just gonna leave it on because it helps me see what I can interact with. I'm, I'm not going to go loot all this stuff right now. We're going to do the quest. Um, and I'm just going to check here real quick to make sure 
Okay, no, I'm going the wrong way. Here we go. Okay, that looks like that would be my guy. It is, okay. A new face, my name is Alp, owner of Alp's Pub. Aptly named. Stop by and try the food, you won't be disappointed. That's why I'm here. I was told to ask about... Pull up a seat and tell me what you'd like. Sorry for the short menu. Options have dried up since the Titan HQ supply chains were cut off. Actually, Isco said your soup was good. Can I try some of that? Just the words a cook wants to hear. And I have a batch of Mersamek soup simmering right now. You're gonna love it. Alp looks around to see if anyone is listening, even though the place is currently empty, and speaks in a hushed tone. Listen, I have a bowl of soup with your name on it if you can help me out. Sounds fair, depending on what you need. A family of rats has set up shop at the... <laughs> We're doing rats in the basement. That's so funny. That's like the traditional first RPG quest. That's great. Now, I make my soup from the best lentils round. Uh, I don't need there to be rats, basically, is what he's saying. Um, it's a family recipe. So what I need from you, my friend, is to bring me five rat tails. Oh my god, it's World of Warcraft. Only five? Oh, these are no ordinary rats. Think of the rats you know from Earth, and now imagine that creature evolving in the worst conditions of Titan and its great 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 grand spawn coming out. Hideously deformed monsters. So five is more than enough and should put the fear of God into the rest of them. They'll know to stay out of my pup. So my question is... Um, my question is... I'm an engineer. I, I have no experience in rat killing. All right, I got the key card to the cellar. Task, additional information. Page three. Open journal, select task, further check additional information. Okay, we're going to do that just for fun here. Um, additional information. Okay, and then I can, it'll path me there. All right. Nice. Oh, there's another fellow back here. Uh, yeah, they might have something to say, but I don't have a weapon. How am I going to kill these rats? Do you have, like, a suggestion, maybe, for that? Oh, he's gone. Okay, maybe this other person has a suggestion for how to kill the rats. Hello. Miriam. Server at the pub. Stop by if you haven't already. Alpha's a great cook. Okay, I'm just going to wing it. Any weapons around here? First aid kits? Don't need those right now. I will take all that stuff. And all that stuff. Seemingly at random, I decide whether I'm going to loot or not. Okay, so I just punch stuff. It looks like I can just punch barrels. That's cool. Did I get a weapon? No. Wait, I got a padlock. And some wood. I got composite wood. Cool. Uh, yep, those are still med packs. Uh, key cards. Sometimes you need key cards. Okay, now maybe I'm getting weapons. Drop items. Okay, um, after defeating an enemy, might, they might drop items. Left click on it to move it into the inventory. Um, if there are multiple, press F to display a list. I'm hearing rats and I'm hoping that the game is paused while I'm in this inventory. Um, if there are multiple drop items, press F to display a list. And then you can just um, pick them all up. So if I press S here, uh, I can just take all or I can like do Tetris. Okay, I am definitely going to take that cleaver. Okay, let's see. This is better than my cleaver. Yeah, this is just straight up better than the cleaver. So we're going to do that instead. As I assumed, it's two-handed. Ooh, actually, you know what's even better than a cleaver is a or a melee weapon is a um, is a ranged weapon. Cool. So now we've got a ranged weapon. We've got an option sturdy shield that just looks like top of a barrel more first aid kits. I like that it automatically takes you to the uh, to the inventory slot that you're supposed to be in, so that's nice. Cool, so we've got all that stuff now. I am uh, equipped. I've got, um, I've got gear. I can take on anything. There is no, no monster in this game that can fight me now that I am equipped with my slingshot. I am invincible. All right. Let's see how combat works. Okay, it's saving. I assume that means we're about to start a boss fight. 
Um, so, you know, take a deep breath, everybody. We're going in. How to attack. Let's learn about that. Left click to perform a default attack. Moving into the same... Right, okay, so it's just like traditional roguelike stuff, kind of, except usually in uh, other roguelikes you have like a specific button if you wanted to fire as opposed to doing a melee attack, but that's all good. Press the tab key to obtain more information about your surroundings. I've been doing that, actually. I've had the tab key on this whole time, um, and it's given me a lot of information about my surroundings. Very helpful. Okay, we got a rat. So we've got some stuff between us. Does that, is that going to stop me? It says I got an 80% chance. It's got 50 hit points. All right, it's half as healthy as I am. That's insane. How much damage are we going to do? Oh my god. We're the best. Okay, so we just did 15 damage, and it moved about two tiles. We should, assuming we hit every time, be fine, but we just missed, so that's too bad. Haha! -ha! 24. Okay, now it's it's got fear. I feared it. Um, so... This presents an interesting tactical decision, because I could finish that one off, but it's currently feared. And if I take a shot there, this one might um, attack me, so I'm going to try to fear this one as well. Oh, that one hadn't even noticed me. Um, so maybe I didn't need to do that. It blocked that attack. Okay, can I fear it before it gets an attack off? I can. Nice. Okay, look at me. I am a master of strategy. I am going to finish that one off, actually. Uh, press F, we'll grab the rat tail. Blue shards. <laughs> okay, we've got magic shards, nice. Those are probably like virus carrying shards or something. Um, there's some more shards here, we'll take those as well. Um, I'm surprised that there are just like crystal magic shards in this game, but uh, I guess there are. Bam! I missed. Uh-oh, so now we might actually take damage. I could... This would be an interesting time to figure out if um, changing my weapons is going to take time or not. Okay, it looks like I can't do that in battle, but... Interesting. So I can have, uh, I can have multiple weapon slots. That's good to know. Alright. So we're going to do the roguelike thing where you try to fight in a single hallway so there's only one person who can hit you at a time. Alright, we're losing. Oh, I leveled up. We are, like, decidedly losing. How do I... Okay, if I... This is the one I need to be focusing. Okay, that one's feared. I do have med kits. Alright, we should be fine now. So our agility and perception is leveled up. We're gonna finish off these rats. Oh, nope, never mind. There's another one. Okay, we killed that one. Nice. Great. Great, 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 great. So what I need to do, I'm out of pellets, okay. Uh, can I do this now? I can do this now, okay, that's great. Strength is leveling up. That one's at 32, that one's at 32, it'd be nice if it could. Okay, we are on the verge of death. This is this is going very awry. Uh, show me medkits. Okay, regain some health each turn while active. Okay, so we're regaining some health. So we're just gonna go regain some health for a second here. Okay, we're great. We're great. Should be able to finish off the rest of these rats. That's a full rat. That's a mostly full rat. Um, are they regenerating health, I wonder? Oh, and I guess the whole fight in the hallway thing doesn't really matter, huh? Because they are regenerating health. Okay. So, finishing them off is, is, is important. Darn rats. Great. Okay. That was uh, harrowing. I think harrowing is the appropriate descriptor there. Okay, unlocking perks. Using quick slots. Adrenaline costs. Okay, so we just learned a bunch of stuff. The perk window shows av uh, available special abilities, including information on each perk's effect. 
cooldown for active perks and the adrenaline cost, if any. Passive perks are ongoing and always in effect. Active perks must be equipped into a quick slot and activated when needed. Perk keyboard shortcut is K. Characters earn one perk point each time they gain a level. These points can be spent to unlock any available perks from the perk window. Perk point costs vary depending on the specific effect. Using quick slots, you click and drag and then you press the number. That's my guess. Uh, must be equipped to a quick slot in order to be used. You can have up to six. Open the perk window, select the perk, drag it down, and you can either left click on it or press the appropriate number. Some perks require adrenaline points, which is that yellow bar on the top. Um, adrenaline points are gained when attacking, being damaged, or after defeating an enemy, meaning more powerful perks aren't available at the start of combat. Adrenaline then fades over time when not in combat. Okay, that all makes sense. Um, we're gonna go ahead and loot first, because we gotta get all our rat tails. Um, and I know that there are like, uh, or I was gonna say, we could probably just use a med kit to, um, to heal up. But on the other hand, um, yeah, we'll just take all of whatever that is. But on the other hand, there's no more, the situation is no longer dangerous, so we might just regenerate health over time, I'm not sure. Um, but I don't feel the need to heal if the situation isn't actively dangerous. Okay, let's look at the perks. So this is where we kind of decide what kind of character we want to be. Um, looks like there's a decent number of categories here. Oh, we can be Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, that's Nanobot. Okay. Sorry, I thought that was Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, adrenaline. Passive perk. So we already have this unlocked. Quick dash. Sprint quickly to move several spaces in one turn. So that's under physical. Survival. I don't know what that means. I can garden, or I can mine. Uh, One-handed melee mastery. Improves melee accuracy and dodge chance while lowering fumble chance when wielding one-handed melee weapons. Um, all right, here's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna call the first session here, uh, and then we'll start the next one with um, a decision about what we're gonna level up. So uh, thanks everybody very much for watching. Really appreciate it, hope you enjoyed. Um, and I will uh, see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.